watching CBS2 News in high definition. All right, coming up here at 5 in just a moment, posting regrets. Pictures can exist in cyberspace anywhere. If you want, the best career advice on that is take a look at Anthony Weiner. It's brought down politicians and it could cost you a job while your information online might not be as private as you thought. From public figures to teenagers, it seems like everybody has a Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram account these days, and people share some of their most intimate thoughts online. But a growing number of people admit to posting regrets. CBS 2's Emily Smith explains how oversharing could cost you. The social media world has become somewhat of a diary, minus the lock and key. A new survey shows more people worry something they posted could come back to haunt them. I'm going to be a senior in college this year, so employers are definitely always looking. According to a legal information website, findlaw.com, more than a quarter of social media users 18 to 34 years old admit to thinking something they posted could affect their job and one in three regret something they've shared on a social media site. I'm definitely unsearchable on Facebook. While 82% of those surveyed say they do pay attention to privacy settings, 21% say they've removed a post in fear it could cost them employment. The first thing today that someone does after they interview someone is go to their LinkedIn profile and their Facebook profile. Headhunter Stephen Viscusi says it's okay to show family photos, pictures of pets, and photos of yourself having fun, but there are caveats. Viscusi tells us the headhunter's dirty little secret is even good news. Good news on Facebook can undermine your future. Your relationship status being one of those potential pitfalls. Viscusi says leave it blank. Pop culture guru Adam Hanft agrees. Because of employment laws today, you can't say to somebody, how old are you, are you married, what is your sexual orientation? All of these things can be easily ascertained on social media. Also limit anything that involves showing too much skin or drinking alcohol. And think before you post, because you never know when it could resurface. In Manhattan, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. And our experts also suggest suspending your social media sites while looking for a job just as an extra precaution. So important these danger, days. Danger, danger, danger.